Located in the heart of Wyoming, the Yellowstone supervolcano is one of the most studied caldera systems on Earth. Hidden beneath its scenic geysers, bison herds, and pine forests lies a magma chamber so vast. In recent months, a flurry of subtle yet scientifically significant activity has been detected by the Yellowstone Volcano Observatory. Sustained seismic swarms, with over 1,200 small earthquakes recorded in the past 90 days, centered primarily near Norris Geyser Basin and the western edge of the caldera. Heightened hydrothermal activity, including frequent and unusually powerful eruptions from the Steamboat Geyser, the tallest active geyser in the world, which has erupted 17 times so far this year. Ground deformation, as revealed by NSAR satellites, which show uplift of nearly 3 cm around the central caldera, indicating magma movement at depth. Crustal deformation analysis the USGS noted in a recent press conference. The Yellowstone system is restless by nature. The current activity fits within its known patterns of unrest that can last for years or decades without culminating in an eruption. But that doesn't mean we ignore it, we analyze it in greater detail than ever before. He added that the USGS and NASA are collaborating on new high-altitude drones equipped with hyperspectral imaging to map thermal flux across the caldera. Guatemala, living with fire. Guatemala's volcanoes are explosive, steep, and perilously close to human settlements. Known as part of the Central American Volcanic Arc, Guatemala's major volcanoes, Fuego, Pacaya, and Santiago are currently in various states of eruption or unrest, creating what many scientists call a chain reaction of surface pressure release. Erupting violently in mid-June, Fuego has blanketed several regions in thick volcanic ash, triggering mass evacuations. The eruption generated pyroclastic flows moving at over 100 km per hour, destroying coffee plantations, infrastructure, and tragically, claiming 37 lives. Guatemala's National Volcano Monitoring Agency in Civium, said. This eruption pattern is comparable in energy release to the devastating 2018 event. The difference this time is our monitoring has improved but so has the risk, due to population growth and deforestation around the volcano's base. Volcanologist with the Global Volcanic Research Alliance, commented in a June symposium in Geneva. There is increasing evidence that what happens in one volcanic region may not be entirely isolated from what happens in another. Changes in the distribution of ocean mass due to melting glaciers, for instance, could subtly alter tectonic loading and impact fault lines thousands of kilometers away.